Hi there folks, now today's lesson is certainly going to be up there in terms of importance and it's the cycle of doom. <laughs> Your failure to appreciate the cycle of doom, to appreciate you, where you are in that cycle of doom psychologically it'll ultimately determine your successes or failures um, as a trader so that's why i think this lesson is so important so i encourage you to take notes watch it think about this all the time when you're trading so what is the cycle of doom i hear you cry beware the cycle of doom it exists in many different uh, trading aspects as well so when you're trading the markets clearly the first thing you need to do is to have a trading strategy now a trading strategy as you've seen is basically a set of trading rules when to buy when to sell when to take profits, when to cut losses, what trading entities you are uh, getting involved in. So basically a strategy gives all the rules of engagement. Now you can use one of my strategies or you can use an external strategy. You can buy one, you can get them out of a book, you can find them in YouTube, or you can develop your own strategy. But the important thing is you need to have a strategy. So you got your strategy, off you go. You start trading your strategy and you start to make a profit. Whoa, this is great. I can now make money in the markets for doing very little work. This is great, better than my day job. So off you go and the inevitable happens. You hit some losing trades. Every strategy has a losing period. Every strategy has losing trades. But it doesn't feel comfortable, does it? It doesn't feel comfortable giving money to other people. Why should I give my hard earned money? to others, doesn't feel comfortable, I don't like these losses. So the common tendency is to tweak that strategy, put in an extra indicator, put in an extra uh, MACD or Bollinger Band to avoid those losses. So you put them in, oh, that much better now, that's much better, you start to make a profit again. Now I have the best optimized strategy. It can't fail, it can't lose. You know, this has got everything a decent strategy needs. And off you go, you start making a profit, then the inevitable happens. You hit the losing streak. Remember, every strategy has a losing period and it's how you deal with them that's the most important part. So you hit this losing streak again, doesn't feel good. Let's put in a moving average crossover. Let's put in another oscillator. If I'd have done the oscillator theory on all these past losing trades, I wouldn't have had losing trades. Oh, that's, that's perfect. Now, I've now got the perfect strategy and off you go, you, once you've tweaked it, you start to make the profits again. Oh, now that is it. Now I'm gonna tell my boss to really go and jump in the lake. I have got the perfect strategy. <laughs> <laughs> the losses happen. This doesn't feel good. How come I've got everything that a perfect strategy should have? Everyone agrees this is the best strategy. Why is it losing? I've had enough of this. I'm gonna ditch the strategy. Ditch it find another one. I can't take any more losses. This strategy has cost me a lot of time and a lot of money. I am going to ditch it. I'm going to find a new strategy. There's one for sale over there. Oh, we've got a strategy over there that you might be interested in. Let's try that strategy. That looks perfect. So off you go again and you just go round this cycle of doom yet again. The same thing will happen because you're not appreciating what trading is all about. Profits and losses and so forth. This is the cycle of doom. Most traders fail in this business because they are in the perpetual cycle of doom. Always looking over the fence for a different strategy, trying something new, trying a new mentor, trying a new educator, trying a new set of indicators. It doesn't work. Every strategy has its losing periods. Um, if that theory wasn't indeed correct, then of course there would be no national debt of Venezuela. Central bankers would just be sitting there trading the profitable trading strategy and alleviating all the government debt. Every strategy has a losing period. How do you avoid the cycle of doom, the damaging cycle of doom that most rookie traders are in? Well, basically by doing three things. First off, having realistic expectations. You've got to be realistic in this. What can the market give you? Is the market gonna give you 50% return every month? 50% a year, is that being realistic? Is 50% a week being realistic? So you've got to have realistic expectations. I actually say a target of around 5% a month is quite realistic. If you compound interest on 5% a month, that's about 80% a year. That's really, really healthy return on investment, yeah? If you're expecting to make 10% every day, that's not realistic. 
And because it's not realistic, you are gonna tweak and change the strategy because the market is not able to give you that. So you have to be realistic in what the market can give you. Look, let's face it, if the market was giving you 10% every day and it was happening each and every day, you wouldn't be doing any of this changing, tweaking, ditching because you'll be happy with what the market is prepared to give you. People are ditching, tweaking and changing because the market is not giving them what they want. So the first thing you need to do is be realistic in what the market can give you. As I say, I say 5% a month is a really healthy return. More about that in subsequent lessons. So be realistic is the first thing. Second thing, understand probability and the law of large numbers. But those are rookie numbers in this racket. Any of you that have been to a casino in, uh, in your lifetime, you may have seen the roulette wheel. Now the roulette wheel, it pays 36 to one. So if you get the number right, you put your number on, red 32 comes in, you get 36 um, times your stake. Okay? But there's 37 numbers on the wheel. Okay? That is the edge of the casino, and that's why the casino makes money every night. Trading is the same. Trading is a game of probability. Having an edge and letting the edge play out over time. That's exactly what the casinos do and that's exactly what successful traders do. Having an edge and letting the laws of probability work in your favour. Now if you understand the laws of probability then you must understand the law of large numbers. The casino owner, he doesn't get freaked out when red comes in five times on the bounce. He knows it's going to average out over time. It's like that proverbial coin toss. You toss the coin 10 times, you should get five heads and five tails. Chances are it won't, such a small number size. You increase that number size out, a large number size, you toss that coin 100 times, should be pretty close to 50-50 heads and tails. You toss it 1,000 times, it's gonna be pretty damn close to 50-50. 50% heads, 50% tails. But you don't know the random distribution of that edge. You don't know if you're gonna have 10 tails on the bounce or 10 heads on the bounce. When you have 10 heads on the bounce, oh, it's all going wrong. So you ditch the strategy and you start tweaking it to, to avoid that. So understand that the trade that you're in at the moment, the losing trade that you're in at the moment, it's irrelevant in the law of large numbers. It's just one trade. It doesn't matter! So how do you put all this together? Well, first of all, You've got to do back testing. Realistic expectations, that comes out in the back testing. Back testing, going back in time, looking how that strategy performs. If you've seen in back testing that the strategy has, has had in the past 12 consecutive losses, you're not going to throw it out. You're not going to try and change it, ditch it, and um, so forth, or tweak it um, when you have seven or eight losing trades because you've seen it happen in the past. So back testing is crucial to understand if your strategy has an edge, to understand probability, understand the law of large numbers, um, and to give you confidence trading it going forward, not to keep changing things when the inevitable happens. Remember, we all have losing trades. So once you've done your back testing, you should do some more back testing. Money line, I'm run it every time. I think you get the picture. I'm pretty, pretty keen on back testing. Back testing is going to separate you, winners, from the losers, because people have done their homework. So when they put all this together, they are gonna avoid that damaging, damaging cycle of doom, which is the killer of most traders. Lastly, I'll end up by saying this one thing as well. Back testing also has the cycle of doom. If you set about trading your strategy in back test, and you set off with, you know, so I'm gonna test uh, two years of data, and you start hitting your losing streak, doesn't mean you should cancel that strategy and then go and back test another strategy or change the strategy, try to tweak it to avoid those losses. Back test it, give it the full length of time in the back test and then make your decisions. Don't keep trying to optimize as you go because you're in the cycle of doom in your back testing. If you're demo trading in the, uh, you know, before you go live with live money, you could be in the cycle of doom. Don't just give up a strategy that you've done in your back testing and it works and it starts to fail on your demo trading, just because you've had a few losing trades, cycle of doom exists in demo trading as well. Beware of the cycle of doom. Make sure you don't fall into it. The best way, I think, the only way to avoid falling into the cycle of doom 
is back testing. I hope you found this lesson useful. It certainly is, I think, one of the most important lessons that I will ever give. Hi there, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you learned something there as well. Now, don't forget to follow us on all our other socials. I'm always leaving tips and tricks on there as well. Don't forget to give this video a like. If indeed you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification that will alert you when my next video has been released, which will be very soon. See you there.